Hi, I'm Frederico with Engrock, and in this video, I'm gonna demo two new security features we made available in our free plans, OAuth security and webhook validation, both in one line. Starting with OAuth security. People and organizations use Engrock to enable ingress access to remote applications. Those could be running in your local host, in remote IoT systems, in connections with other organizations. And what these uh, use cases typically go around is our agent running ngrok HTTP in the port, and then ngrok provide that secure ingress access. By default, you run this command, you get a URL, and your app or API is available for internet access. But one challenge with this is that with this default command, everyone can see your app, right? You have no control over who can access that. And OAuth comes in to solve that for you. Here from my ngrok, I'm gonna run the same command I did before, but now with an extra variable called OAuth. Engrok supports the major OAuth providers. You can use Microsoft, you can use LinkedIn, you can use GitHub, GitLab. In my example here, I'm gonna use Google. And when you do that, your ingress connection now requires authentication. If I go in app open here, you'll see that I'm required to identify myself and this information is also surfaced to your app. My example here, I got the ngrok auth username that came in from Google and identified that I'm Frederico. You can use this for authorization, you can use this for processing information within your app. That's auth. I wanna show you once again because the magic here is that everything's happening in a single command as you can see highlighted. Now let's move over to webhooks. The same way you want to protect web apps, you want also to protect APIs. I have a webhook listener here that's running on port 3002. It's expecting to receive messages from GitHub. And again, if I run ngrok HTTP 3002, anyone can go to this URL and pretend they are GitHub. They can activate APIs without being the originator or the one I expect from my call. With webhook validation, similarly to OAuth, I get a command which I can use. And this one has two variables. First one is which provider I'm gonna use. And Grok supports over 60 of those. And the second is a secret which I combine with my provider in case GitHub, I'm gonna use welcome123 for testing purposes. With this URL, I cannot access the webhook if I'm not GitHub and I don't have the secret. But if I'm GitHub or any other webhook provider I'm integrated and it is supported by ngrok, I can update the webhook, make a call that will be successful because I'm GitHub and I have the secret. As you can see down here, I even get this message parsed over by my service. To recap, with webhook in validation one line and OAuth, you can add that security you need for free to start in your projects, whether you're running this in your own machine or you're running production workloads like IoT devices or B2B integrations. These are some of the most popular questions we have around uh, these new features. First is how do you, you get started? If you don't use ngrok yet, just go to ngrok.com slash sign up, get a free account. If you already use, it's readily available for you. The only thing you gotta make sure is you're running the version 3.1 of the agent which is available in ngrok.com slash download. You can use OAuth and webhook validation anywhere you need security. Uh, you can still use with any other features you leverage from ngrok like introspection and replay, and you can also use with our libraries. Thank you.